how I make easy profits every night in Forex. So that's that's what I'll be going over in this video. So essentially how I do this is by focusing on interest rates. So what do I mean? Essentially, I'll just show you a screenshot of the positions that I currently have running. As you can see, Euro AUD, Euro CAD, Euro NZD, Euro USD, and these are all sell positions. And as you can see, my commission is negative zero. It's it's in the negative, of course, because that's a commission. But when you look at my swap, you can see that it is positive. Swap is essentially the interest spread or the spread between the interest rates of the two currencies that you're trading. So this is how I make easy profits every single night in Forex. Whenever I'm holding my position overnight, I'm getting paid an interest by my broker. Why? Because I invest in the currency which has a higher interest rate. So I'll explain even further. But as you can see, my swap here is positive. Let us forget the pips, how many pips I've made uh, per, per trade. But let us just focus on the swap for now. As you can see, $6, $5, $7, $5, right? On all these three, on all these four currency pairs. So essentially, this is money that I'm getting paid just for holding the trade, right? So I'm getting an interest every single night for holding the trade. Whether the trade moves in my direction or not, as long as my position remains active, I am getting paid by my broker. So that's how easy it can be if you are on the right side of what of the interest rates are when it comes to the two different economies that you are trading, right? So how do you determine this or how do you place yourself in a better position to actually start earning this uh, interest payment every single night. So it all starts with understanding interest rates, right? So as you can see, the date or the date of which when I open these positions, um, it's yeah, it's roughly 26th of April this this month. And for Euro USD, it's only been from the 3rd of May, right? And you can see I've gained a bit, a couple of a couple of profits, right? Like I said, just for me holding the position, right? And of course, if you're using a bigger lot size, these these will obviously be more than what we're seeing here. If you're using a smaller lot size, this will obviously be less, but you will be getting that payment or that positive payment every single night. So let me just uh, break it down how to actually position yourself uh, to start actually getting this. So you need to understand interest rates first and foremost. What do I mean? The difference between the interest rates. So we'll just focus on the currencies that I've just uh, that, that I have open at the moment so we'll start with euro 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 cad so as you can see euro has an interest of 3.75 as you can see under last i'm using trading economics so 3.8 sorry 3.75 for euro as you can see for canada 4.5 so if i am selling euro cad that means that i am buying canadian dollar which has a higher interest rate so the difference between 3.75 and for sorry, the difference between 4.5 and 3.75, that is what I'll be getting as an annual payment interest. And of course, it's split into smaller payments every single day, right? So that is essentially how it is. So whenever I'm executing a position, I try by all means, not every single position will be this way, but I try by all means to be on the right side of interest rates, to be buying the currency with the higher interest rates against the currency with the lower interest rate. So for example, again, uh, Euro, uh, what we have euro or euro AUD as you can see euro AUD 3.75 Australia is currently at 3.85 Australia slightly higher than what the euro area so euro area is currently catching up when it comes to interest rates but since I bought Australia I sold euro AUD so which means I bought the Australian dollar sold the euro that means that I'm getting that small positive payment every single night uh, Euro uh, USD, as you can see, United States 5.25, Euro 3.75. What is the difference there in between? That's a chunky difference, right? So that is why I'm also getting an interest, 5.25 minus 3.75. And then, of course, it will be not exactly just by minusing. There's a way of calculating it, but I just want you to get the picture of how easy it is to actually get paid every single night for just having your position open. Even if the price can fluctuate in your uh, around your entry point for a whole month, as long as you're on the right side of interest rates, you always get a positive kickback every single month. Sorry, every single night from your broker because you're on the right side of interest rates. So just like a bank, you get you earning an interest every single night, right? And then lastly, we have Euro uh, New Zealand, right? So as you can see, Euro is three point seven five. Let us go to New Zealand. 
So Euro is 3.75. And then if we go to New Zealand, we can see New Zealand is 5.25. So almost similar like the, like the US dollar. And that is why I'm also getting a positive kickback or interest payment or a positive swap uh, from my Euro NZD position. So going back to the screenshot, how to actually achieve this, how to actually achieve getting positive swaps is simply by you positioning yourself by buying the currency with a higher interest rate against the currency with the lower interest rates. If it is in reverse, if I buy Euro USD, I'll be getting a negative payment. I will be paying the broker every single night and my swap will be negative. So as in, as in essence, with these positions at the moment, I'm currently getting paid twice because my pips are very positive. And then also with my swap, it is also positive. So I'm earning that interest payment every single day. And because the positions are also moving in my favor, I'm also earning those pips uh, uh, along the way, right? So this is essentially how I make easy profits every single night in Forex, just holding my position and being on the right side of interest rates. I hope that makes sense. Uh, if it if, if you need more clarity, just uh, drop the comments uh, below and um, we'll take it from there, right? So see you in the next video.